I should just push it back? Uh, just t turn it towards me a bit. Huh? Turn it towards me a bit. I should try to. Just, uh, just hold it. The shape just, of the uh, Kenya Topar okay. Hive allows the bees to build comb in its natural U-shape, without them needing to attach the comb to the sidewalls for the additional support required when rectangular comb is constructed. Since top bars are kept flush together when a hive is being inspected and a comb is removed from the hive, there is only one slot on top from which bees can emerge, making it easier for the beekeeper to control the colony. Oh yeah, I see, see her down at the bottom You see, now. you yep, see, you yep, see. There she is. All right, that is the queen there. Yes. Good. You see. Yes. Uh huh. That is the queen. Oh, we're getting some good, good zoom action here. Right. A few things. Um, about the about the Kenya top our hive you can see how the bees have oddly enough done what they're supposed to do yes. constructed their comb uh, along the along yeah, the guide uh, along the guide and um, good you can see you can see there there's pollen from several different um, cells uh, sources because uh, it's different colored pollen. I think you want to come around and stand on the other side again, uh, the other where, side. where you were. Right. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, it's better. Cause that way you're not in the not in the flight path of the bees. Mm -hmm. And one of these cells, yes, it was this one here. Mm -hmm. Can you hold that? Um, right. and I'm going to try and set the exposure because we get get a nice nice shot here of the of the uh, of the brood. And uh, the camera will cooperate here. Let's see how close we can get in. Oh yes, it's nice. Good job, Ali. It's getting some some nice uh, some nice shots of the open brood, the young larvae, mm -hmm. which uh, after about two weeks in their cells will be will be capped over to become, become pupae and uh, they'll spend about a week in their cells uh, as their bodies change from from the larval state yeah. through metamorphosis and uh, completing the conversion into into adult bees great and uh, in the next, in the next comb there, mm -hmm. we can see that uh, there are the the next phase sealed sealed larvae. Uh, sorry, sealed pupae, sealed brood. And uh, the the workers are attending to the brood, making sure that the temperature stays about the same temperature as human body temperature. Right. Uh, so that it develops properly and maybe we can see uh, the colony is still pretty young so I don't see any I don't see any cells that are opening uh, how about on the next how about on the next frame Ali can we, can we maybe pull that out and yeah I see some some older some older larvae down in the bottom here Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Here, my my good friend Ali is putting the putting the top bars back back in place. You can see that the uh, top bars each have a have a wooden ridge that serves as a guide for the bees to construct their comb, so that uh, so that they are disinclined to build their comb crosswise again across the uh, top bars which would disallow removal of the combs from the hive and which obviously would make management of the colony impossible. You can see at the end of this KTBH that the wood has been treated with shea butter to protect it from the attack of termites.